Okay, thank you. Good to be here. Um, yeah, so this is about Team Finland, as we all know. Everything is about Team Finland, uh, as it should be. Right, okay. So my name is Kari Kataja, I come from Tekes. And with me I have here as a mental support, definitely, <laughs> Mika, Mika Korea from HUS. And we are, to, we are going to tell you about Clinical Entrepreneur Program Finland. Uh, about a year ago, uh, we became acquainted with Clinical Entrepreneur Program at the NHS England. Uh, we got fascinated about this and we wanted to take it uh, from UK to, to Finland. And this is actually now happening. So, uh, the father of the program is, is Professor Tony Young. He's National Clinical Director for Innovation at the NHS England. And he started this about uh, one and a half years ago. Last autumn, he had 103 uh, clinical entrepreneurs, mainly young doctors, in, in his program. And this is, this is their way to do it. They are targeting young doctors, especially uh, at the NHS. Uh, we decided we are going to do something else. With, with, with our tools that we have in Finland, nevertheless, we are keeping, keeping a, a strong connection bond uh, to, to the mother program, clinical entrepreneur program in, at the NHS. Okay, actually, this is part of something bigger. So, uh, uh, last year, uh, we, we took some 20 companies to, to, to visit UK and, and, and the NHS. Uh, under a program called Gateway to UK, uh, under Bits of Health program. Uh, this, is, this was a joint initiative by Tekes and, and Finpro. So we trained and networked them to the, to, to the country and to the NHS habits, and now 15 of them are continuing actively there. We also proposed uh, NHS England, uh, a series of other, other activities, and the first of those is now launching clinical entrepreneur program in, in Finland. The aim is, is rather simple, actually. So we want the best ideas from your heads, from your drawers, uh, and, and translate those in, into, into the benefit of patients, of course, and the way to do it is through commercialization. Oops, one more back. Okay, and to whom is this meant? So it's for healthcare professionals. And unlike in, 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 in UK currently, it's not only for doctors, it's also, also for nurses and other professionals at university hospitals. And this is where we want to start. Uh, probably expanding it later to other, other, other entities. Already, uh, we have two commitments uh, from Helsinki University Hospital and Oulu University Hospital. And what this means to a professional, healthcare professional, this is an opportunity to work in a company for a fixed period of time without the fear of losing your job. So you can go to a company and then return back. And when we are going to do this uh, in, in full speed is after the summer, after a couple of uh, 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 local programs in, in Turku and Oulu uh, called Ysi Hanke, YSI, uh, University Hospital in, in Innovation uh, programs are ending. So we are smoothly continuing those. And this is the process as we have planned it so far. It needs a little bit of polishing, but this is, this is the basic idea. Okay, the word idea is, is also on the screen. So the ideas will be delivered to an innovation house, which is going to be established under terverskula.fi. So it's going to be one of those virtual uh, hospital uh, entities there. And we're going to collect a joint pool of ideas for all university hospitals to be seen and to be assessed. In the next, next phase, uh, the ideas are screened. So it's going to be separation for ideas that are meant for internal development, lean type of uh, approaches and solutions, and also some ideas, of course, who, which, which needs some further development. And, and uh, the ideas with international business potential true international business potential, as well as who the, uh, the ones that the hospital, university hospitals see value and at attractive for joint development 
are separated. And, and this is done now, the plan to be done by so-called innovation scouts, innovation ambassadors, who in addition to do the screening, they also activate to get the ideas from the hospital staff. Okay, the next phase is to present the ideas that has been, have been selected. And there's already, already in place great uh, event, uh, a monthly event called Findery, which has, has been active here already. Uh, it can be this, it can be, uh, for example, Life Science Accelerator in Turku. So we are not going to invent anything that's already in place. We are not going to break anything, tear it apart, but join the forces already, take, uh, 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 which are proven to be uh, effective and well going. So we need regular joint pitching events where someone who has an idea and wants to put up a startup is going to pitch. Or if you don't want to set up a new company, you can find a partner company to your idea at the Finder event. The event also serves as not part of the heart of the program, but find uh, experts to companies. Companies are also pitching and finding uh, healthcare professionals to their needs. Okay, so now there is a company who has taken, taken the idea. Uh, the next, in the next phase, okay, some don't, might not need money, some might be very rich, uh, but the ones who do, uh, Tekes comes in the picture then. And Tekes fun, can fund a company, and this is important, that has the right to utilize the invention. So there has to be, of course, an agreement with the, with the inventor and, and the company, otherwise we cannot fund it. Uh, we have a normal process that takes place about two months, hopefully less, uh, but that's, that's, uh, the num uh, that's the date that we give. And we have a series of different funding opportunities. It can be an R&D project, or it can be, can be something else. Nevertheless, we have, we have different means to fund the idea, and we have different means to uh, fund the company to hire the professional for a fixed period of time. And uh, uh, this should be clear. So once we assess the company very thoroughly, only the positive ones, positive decisions are favored to join the program. In the last phase, uh, we, have, uh, we have planned to set up a program committee uh, uh, where, where, the represent, where there are representatives of all, of all the university hospitals, uh, some companies, Techers, other Team Finland players to, final, to do the final assessment of the ones that are accepted to the program. Okay, and then what we are going to offer, and this is of course the ultimate thing. In the, in the early, early stages, there was already an uh, uh, idea to screen out the ones that the university hospital sees enough value for them, and also that they, that which one which ones they want to uh, continue developing through co-creation. And this is the number one value for the ideas. And this is supported and given to the company, all of these, not the inventor, but the company who will support also through funding. The, the second one is related to the NHS England Clinical Entrepreneur Program. So they have promised to open their uh, doors uh, for our program participants. Uh, uh, who can then benefit from the uh, webinars, their training programs, uh, through e-learning, for example, if you can want to go to UK, uh, by all means, uh, and you can, you can meet also the investor network and entrepreneur net network and for, your, for your benefit. Uh, thirdly, uh, which is to be, uh, uh, the form to be decided is, is some sort of business case pairing. We have some tools already in our hands. We're going to assess them thoroughly and, and think about what is the best for the, in, in the future. And this is somewhat limited because uh, Tekes is paying for this. So our rules come, uh, tell us that we cannot give you two weeks period of, of extensive training, but we have to limit it, 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 it to two days. Uh, nevertheless, we believe it's going to be valuable. And finally, some entrepreneurship training for example, presentation training, which comes to handy to, to all of us, I would say. Okay, so next steps. We are, as you see, we are not quite there yet, but we will be. 
Next is is that we we will get the commitment of all the all university hospitals, the rem, rem, remaining three. Okay, Mika has already been in discussions with all five of them. As you know, two already have committed. The remaining three are very interested. It goes through their internal process whether they are going to, going to join or not. Okay, and then we're going to finalize the process uh, itself. And, and something that's very important is, is the hospital's agreement on an, a intellectual property rights, as well as how the joint development process is going to go, go on with the companies. So there's some paperwork that has to be, the important paperwork that has to be done. And then it's opening of this innovation house at terverskila.fi, giving you the address to deliver your ideas. And we aim to have it, have it by the end of June. Meanwhile, Mika and myself are glad to take your ideas. Okay, thank you. Any questions? No questions? Well, okay, uh, I can say that uh, entrepreneur-wise and idea-wise, uh, uh, over the past past two years that I've seen ideas coming from uh, from Russia, from from Europe, from U UK, US, uh, we are doing well. I think our company's ideas, our entrepreneurs' ideas, are even better than, than the others. <laughs> Uh, we might be a little bit shy on, on, on marketing those, and, and, and of course we are always struggling with, with getting enough funding. But uh, as an idea, per, uh, uh, idea level, idea-wise, our ideas beat them quite well. <laughs> there, of course, there are good ideas from the other countries, but I, I, I've been very proud of when, when we are, we have pitched against, uh, or it's not a comp competition, of yeah. course. But when we have pitched uh, together with the other countries, I think that's good. But uh, as to having having uh, entrepreneurs uh, from doctors, nurses, and so on, we don't have that much. We should we could have more, and we definitely need ideas that come from the need that is recognized. And of course, who are the ones to rec to recognize the need? Is the professionals working day by day with with, with patients and, and with the issues and problems that appear. This is the this is the heart and soul of the uh, whole program, of course. <coughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>